Okay, Nikki Northcott, you are a young gun. You've been the young gun, and you are in the undercard. How does it feel to get here and have a chance to rope against the big dogs that you do already rope against in the open? It feels great, but, you know, I still, it just doesn't really matter how young I am. I still got to beat them. They rope so good, and there's really no mercy there. Right, there is no age limit or minimum on the open, so you've been roping in the opens for how long? Uh, probably a year now. I started out and then just kind of had to because I couldn't rope in the number of opens anymore. Right. So how do you go into a competition like today with today's setup where if you win the first four, you advance, but it could go either way and you could win at the end? I just try to not really think about it and just heal my steers mostly because you start thinking about the times, you start messing up. So if you just try to catch two feet, it generally works better. Just go with it and let the cards fall. Yeah. All right. Good luck today. Thank you. I should stand on the fence. <laughs> okay, Wyatt Bray, you are in the undercard match today, and your partner is Josh Patton, and you guys have been roping together for a little while now. What's your game plan going into this? Well, you got to see when you're up first. So if Jackson goes first, uh, just try to match whatever he does, be a little bit faster. If they're long, I can go catch. If they're short, i got to press on it. But if I'm first, I'm just going to try to knock him down for what he is and just get a time on the board. Just it's the first four to win, correct? Yep, first four to win. Four one-headers, or seven one-headers. So what's your advice to Jackson right now? I uh, hope he does great today, but just a little bit slower than me. <laughs> there you go. Good luck today, Wyatt. Thank you. <laughs> Jackson Tucker, you are in the undercard match today against Wyatt and Josh. Who's your partner today? Nikki Northcott. Nikki Northcott. And how old is Nikki Northcott? He's 16. And he heals like a? Like a grown man. <laughs> yeah, like a number 16. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, that, that's him. Yeah. So what is your game plan today? Uh, just do a good job for him. Uh, I'm going to ride one of my better horses today and try to do the best I can for him. My, my main partner, Wyatt's not here today, but Nikki's my second partner, so I'll try to make her run. So there's a lot of confidence there. So talk to us about a horse that you picked to ride in this situation. Well, uh, I'm going to ride my good yellow. I have an arrow. I've been rodeoing on him and riding him everywhere. And uh, I haven't rode him actually since Houston, so I need to make some runs on him and figure out to do it today. So the score is three under. Does that determine what horse you ride, or you're good either way? No, I'm good either way, really. Just I try to score good and do a good job. All right. Well, awesome. Good luck today. Thank you. Well, it's Monday Night Match, X-Factor Roping, and here we go with the undercard match. It's going to be Jackson Tucker, Nikki Northcott versus Wyatt Bray, Josh Patton, and Cash Duty Sid Sporer going to be teamed up versus Hagen Peterson and Caleb Hendricks. The winner of that, each match will go on and uh, rope for a winner take all. Jackson Tucker and Nikki Northcott, here are your Texas High School Region 10 champions. Jackson Tucker to the head side. Nikki Northcott. Actually, Nikki Northcott is the Region 10 champ on the back side. And he's got him healed right here with a smooth run of 629. Did that with Cole Smith. So they started off just right. Here comes Wyatt Bray and Josh Patton. These guys got to be a 628 or better right here. Get their victory. Nikki Northcott with a nice heel shot right there as we get another look at that. It's Wyatt Bray and Josh Patton now to team it up and get things going. 628 or better for these guys. Jump into this round one win. Wyatt Bray, good nod. We're rolling. Broke the barrier, and that's not going to work out in their best interest as we get this one healed in a hurry right here, but a plus five. And they are going to be 21 and 82. And so Jackson Tucker and Nikki Northcott, Wyatt Bray right there, got the barrier just a tick, gets him caught. And uh, JP now on the backside comes around and just puts it out there and got that outside leg. They're the plus five and five more.
Josh Patton, we're going off a little bad luck on this first run. How does that change your plan for the rest of these steers? Uh, the pressure's off now. I mean, like right then, my horse is pretty green. I just wanted to kind of get around there. He's a little cowy and just part of team roping. It'll get better. Yep, it is. So what is this horse you're riding today? Uh, he's an eight-year-old horse I got from True Lucina. A lot of buttons and nice horse, just got a fat leg. Yep. All right, well, there you go. Good luck on the next ones. Cash Duty and Sid Spore. They're going to be matching Hagen Peterson and Caleb Hendricks. All right, Cash Duty. Got him point one seven five off the barrier. Got him caught. Sid Spore comes around, heals him. Hey, smooth right here with the 739. 739. We'll get another look at that right there. It's Cash Duty right here on the head side. Got him a start. Cash tracks him a little further than normal. Reaches out there and gets him roped around the neck. And uh, comes around. Watch Sid Spore right here. Nice, nice heel shot. As he gets him caught by two feet. And right there with the 739, they're in good position. All right, it's Hagen Peterson. He's on the head side. Caleb Hendricks to the back side. These guys looking to be better than a 739. Got him a good clean start. Hagen with his part. Now watch this. Oh, man. Smooth run. Uh-oh, it's not smooth. It's plus five. They're going to be 11 and 46. And that is going to give Cash and Sid the advancement there. All right, well, look at this. Hagen gets out point zero zero nine. Steer rolling right through there. He's got him caught right around the horns. And then Caleb Hendricks right here puts his rope down, and he's got him, but got him by that inside leg. Puts him at 1146. And so it is going to be Cash Duty and Sid Spore with round one win, and Jackson Tucker and Nikki Northcott with a round one win. Wyatt Bray and Josh Patton. These guys had all kinds of problems in round one. So a little redemption is what they're after right here in round number two. Wyatt Bray, cool common collected right here. On the head side, Josh Patton, veteran of the game of the back side. Wyatt with an odd, and we're rolling right here. Clean start, point one seven two off the barrier, and a misfire completely right here as it is not going to work for Wyatt and Josh. Oh, man. We'll get another look at it right here. Wyatt got out of the barrier just right, stands up and gives it to that steer, but it just goes right over that right horn and does not connect. So Jackson Tucker and Nikki Northcott with an opportunity to be 2-0 after two. Okay, Jackson Tucker, Nikki Northcott. These guys got that round one win. See what they can do right here. All right, Jackson, good safe start. One four eight comes down there and heads that steer. Nikki Northcott comes around and he's got him healed right here. Locks it down nine twenty nine, and so. It is going to be two to zero after two with with Jackson Tucker and Nikki Northcott to the favor. Jackson Tucker does a nice job getting him turned, and Nikki comes in and heals him down. Smooth run, and they're nine, and they are nine twenty nine for the win. Okay, Wyatt, it was kind of a rough start. We had a broken barrier, we had an air ball, and this is fast paced. How do you get back in the right state of mind to run steers this quick? Well, you just have to go back to the process and back to what your foundation is. Big swing, cover the horns, rope what you draw. If you do that and they beat you, that's fine. 
but most nine times out of ten, if you do your job the way you're supposed to do it, you're going to win. So tell us a little bit about the horse that you're riding today. Today, I, or today I'm riding this mare. I got her from Logan Olson. She's DMO Sandrifter, and uh, I'm actually going to ride a full brother to her if we end up winning this match. But uh, she's a really cool mare. Eric rode her at the finals a couple times. Really good mare. Awesome. Well, good luck on the rest of them. Thank you. All right, here we go. It is Hagen Peterson right here on the head side. Got him around the horns. Caleb Hendricks. Yeah, he heals this one by two feet. 6-12. 6-12. They come tight fast right here. Caleb gets out, point zero one eight. Not the cleanest head catch, but it's effective. And then Caleb Hendricks comes around right here and heals him on that first hop. Bam, got him. You bet, they're 6-12. All right, Cash Duty and Sid Spore. Now, these guys already like to go fast, so they've got to be a 6'11 right here to put their lead to zero. Cash backs in. We got the nod. Oh, gets out perfectly, Point zero zero eight, and he's got it on him in a hurry. Oh, Sid smoked him down, 570 right here, and they're going to be 2-0 over Hagen Peterson and Caleb Hendricks. Look at this, Cash Duty. Reads that barrier perfectly. And then right here, bam, two swings. He's got him wearing it. And Sid Spore, all he's got to do is heal him, and he does a nice job doing it. They're smooth right here. They got him. They are going to be a 570, and that is going to put them now 2-0 to zero over Hendricks and Peterson. Okay, Cash, you are 2-0 and going into this third round. Does that change things in your game plan or not? No, I'm just trying to hit the start and just take a good throw and make sure we catch the cow. So far it's been working. Talk to us about your partner, Sid, a little bit. Oh, he's done a great job for me all year so far this year. We just started roping uh, about October, November, and it's been great so far. Okay, awesome. Well, good luck in the rest of the matches. Round number three for Jackson Tucker and Nikki Northcott, Wyatt Bray, and Josh Patton. So Jackson and Nikki, two to nothing right now over Wyatt and Josh. There were 629 in round one and 929 in round two. Round three, we're gonna see if they can continue with what they've started. Jackson Tucker, Nikki Northcott. Trying to move on into another best of seven. Versus the winner of Cash Duty Sid Spore and Hagen Peterson, Caleb Hendricks. We'll see what happens there. Jackson Tucker with a nod. 0.056 off the barrier. Golly, trouble here on the head side. Not gonna work. All right. So he gets out of the barrier just right. And as he delivers his loop right there, it comes right around and it ropes that right horn one more time. And so when it all comes tight, it pops off. Wyatt Bray and Josh Patton in a knockdown situation. So, they've started a little bit slow. They're down two to zero. Wyatt gets out on this steer right here and heads him. And now, here comes JP on the backside, heals him down, smooth run, 867. 867 is gonna make it two to one, going into round number four. You can see Wyatt Bray just a little bit off the barrier and he whips to this steer right here. Picks up his rope, got him right around the horns. Yes, he does. And then Josh Patton makes a great heel shot right here as he comes tight on this one in a hurry, eight and 67. Cash Duty and Sid Spore now to rope. Now they're two to nothing over Hagen Peterson and Caleb Hendricks. Cash Duty on the last round, round two, there were 570 with an outstanding run. Duty right here again, 131 off the barrier, puts it out there and does not get it around the horns right there. A split of the horns is going to take them to an no time. 
as we'll look at this loop right here, Cash Duty gets out. And uh, this steer is certainly not out of his wheelhouse, but he just doesn't come across the horns, and it splits them right there, and it's going to be a no time. So Hagen Peterson and Caleb Hendricks have an opportunity right here to get back in the ball game in a heavy way. Gentlemen, you got to knock the steer down to do it, though. All right, Hagen gets out, .017, right there, crispy around the horns. And now Caleb Hendricks on the backside with a fast heel shot, 7.53. And that is going to put them now at two to one with the advantage going to Cash Duty and Sid's four, but they're still back in the ball game. All right, you can see right there, Hagen gets him caught, but then watch this Caleb Hendricks right there. I mean, bam, he's got him all day. Round number four, Wyatt Bray and Josh Patton. These guys are down by one. It's two to one. Going into round four. Jackson Tucker and Nikki Northcott with win of round one and two. Point zero two two on the get out here. And look at this. <laughs> hey, 576. Nice job. 576, you can see right here, as he gets out perfectly on the barrier, comes around big loop, catches the horns, and then JP comes in and squares up, and he puts a lot of rope down there, getting caught, five and 76. So, they are looking for another win, but Jackson Tucker and Nikki Northcott looking to go ahead and get in there, put them back against the ropes. These guys got to be a 575 or better. 575 or better. Jackson Tucker gets out. Uh-oh, it's not going to fit here, and it's going to be a no time. And so, after four rounds, it's two to two. Two up. Jackson Tucker got out great, and as he stood up to rope this steer, he splits the horns, and it does not fit. It's going to be a no time right there. And so... It's tied up, two to two. <music> Round four for Hagen Peterson and Caleb Hendricks. These guys won round three. So it's two to one. Cash duty and sits four to the favor right now. The fourth round, uh-oh, we broke the barrier. Caleb Hendricks heals him down fast, clean. They got the barrier, though. They're going to be 14 and 88. So Caleb has been reading, or Hagen has been reading that barrier perfectly. He does not on this one. Gets out, gets him roped around the horns. Caleb comes around and heals him in a hurry, and they come tight. But the 488 goes to 14 and 88. So cash duty and Sid Spore. Opportunity lies with you guys. It's two to one, going into round four. Cash with a great, safe start. Comes out, rolls to him, got him. Got him caught around the horns, and Sid comes in and got a leg, and they're going to be plus five. Oh, oh, they are 14.06, 14.06, and that's enough to give them that win so it is three to one going into round number five. All right, so you look right there. Cash took him down the arena. Sid puts his rope down there, but as he get in front of the feet, and he just got that one hind leg, but it was good enough. Good enough. Round number five, the undercard four-team match, Jackson Tucker and Nikki Northcott on a competition between White Bray and Josh Patton. It's all tied up after four. It's two to two. Two to two. All right, Jackson Tucker 
and Nikki won rounds one and two. They came back round three and four with trouble. Jackson Tucker right here. Nikki Northcott. Jackson with an odd. Here they go. Clean start, point 105 off the barrier. Nicky comes in, and he's got one hind leg. They're going to be 12.45. 12.45. All right, so Jackson pulls right there, gets out, 105 off the barrier. Gets steer roped around the horns. Nicky comes in on the back side, and as he puts his rope down there, it just high on the outside. He catches the inside leg, plus five, 12.45. Wyatt Bray. Wyatt Bray and Josh Patton right here. Wyatt got him around the horns. JP to the backside. Yes, sir. How about 778? 778. And so after round number five, it's two to three with Wyatt Bray and Josh Patton in there going to round six. Cash Duty and Sid Spore have Caleb Hendricks and Hagen Peterson against the ropes. Round number five, we'll watch Cash Duty and Sid Spore rope first. That's when they rope their best. Here we go. Cash Duty out, point one three nine. Steer runs. Cash trouble. Rares up, gives it to him, does not fit. It is going to be a no time. No time. And let's look and see what went wrong right here. Cash pulls a little bit, and then that steer... Beats him over to the right there. All right, here comes Hagen Peterson and Caleb Hendricks. Now, these guys, three to one. So they were in trouble. Now they got a free roll. Get him knocked down. Bring yourselves back. Hagen puts it on the horns. Caleb Hendricks does some healing right here. They're going to be 773. Nice job, gentlemen. 773. They're still down, but they're climbing back out of the hole. Number six, the undercard match right here. Wyatt Bray and Josh Patton with an opportunity to put the match to bed right here. They're three to two over Jackson Tucker and Nikki Northcott with wins in the last three go rounds. So if they can keep their streak alive right here, Jackson and Nikki would be in trouble. Wyatt, God broke the barrier, broke the barrier. Point oh four six and got a leg, and so we're going to be twenty and forty eight. 20 and 48. Well, let's see what happened right there. Wyatt pulled, didn't pull enough. Breaks the barrier, ropes the steer. And then Josh Patton comes around. And as he gets this steer kind of squared away, he's just got him roped by the outside leg. And so at 20 and 48. There were 5, 48, 10 at the line, 5 of the field, 20 and 48. So Jackson Tucker and Nikki Northcott. Uh, with an opportunity to push it into the seventh go round, they got to be faster than 20 and 48. Jackson Tucker gets out on him. He's got him caught now. Nikki Northcott, do your deal. And he does. Smooth run right here with the 737. 737 means that it is tied up going into round number seven for those teams. Jackson Tucker right here. Horns are caught. And then watch Nikki Northcott. Comes around, and he has so much control over his rope, he gets that steer caught by two feet. It's all over.
Nikki, on the last year, you roped a leg. This one, you come back and you catch two feet, win the match. Now you're going into the seventh round, tied up. What did roping that leg do that you switched to come back and catch two feet on this one? Well, th that one, I, I should have threw faster, but I kind of got out of whack, and I think that's what made me rope a leg. And that one, all I had to do was catch, so I just made sure and do that. Just went and did your job. Do you think that wearing the button to your own shoot helps you catch two feet? <laughs> Probably not, but I just keep it so I don't lose it. It's comfort. Yeah. <laughs> Good luck on the next one. Round number six for Hagen Peterson and Caleb Hendricks. They are down. It's three to two. Cash duty and sits four. And right here, they are. Smooth run, 654. Nice job for Hagen and Caleb. Hagen gets out on this one really good. 0.081. You can see right here, gets him roped right around the horns. Nice curl. And the backside, Kalo Hendricks heals him down, comes tight. It's all over in a six and 54. And right here, they are smooth run, 654. So Cash Duty and Sid Spore with a 653 or better can win this best of seven. Cash Duty fires it out there, got the neck. Sid Spore, oh yeah, oh yeah, smooth run, 569. Ladies and gentlemen, that's how you do it. That's how you do it right there. As Cash Duty gets out, he reaches for that steer, got him caught around the neck, and then Sid Spore comes around as to keep his position, but that steer hops off really nice. He's got him healed right here, and they are 569. So they're going to put it to bed in six rounds. It will be Cash Duty and Sid Spore. Jackson Tucker and Nikki Northcott. They're taking it all the way to seven right here. And they're going to rope first. Their fastest time was a 629. The fastest time for White and Josh, 576. It comes down to one steer right here. And look at there, Nikki healed him, got him clean. They're going to be 638. 638. Look at this. Jackson Tucker gets out, 0 0.037. Big steer kind of holds up right there, and Jackson puts it around the horns. Nikki Northcott tries him on in a hurry, and he's got him. Has a little bit of trouble getting that dally and getting it all tied up right there, but he does. And so, it is going to be a 638. All right, here we go. Wyatt Bray and Josh Patton. Look at this. They come tight in a hurry, 547. And so, they will get the win. It is going to be Wyatt Bray and Josh Patton. So White Bray and Josh Patton move on. He's got him around the neck right there. JP heals him right there in a hurry. 547. So White Bray, Josh Patton are going to take on Cash Duty and Sid Spore to find out who's going to be the champions. All right, guys. One thing we've learned about match roping today is don't ever count yourselves out. Talk to us about the mountains and the valleys that you went through in this match today. Well, I made a lot of mistakes. My partner's done a good job all day, but I beat myself three times today, and then the other four I actually did my job. So, Josh, how do you keep the momentum going when things aren't going right? You just got to keep hustling. I mean, when you're kind of behind the eight ball, I mean, there ain't no giving up. You got to keep on. And I mean, our run is pretty good. We catch a lot of steers. We just knew we needed to battle back in there and not miss the barrier. And I probably need to throw a little faster, and here we are. Well, it all worked out, and you battled back. Good job, guys. Thank you. We just watched Wyatt Bray and Josh Patton get a victory over Jackson Tucker and Nicky Northcott. Also, Cash Duty and Sid Spore took a win over Hagen Peterson and Caleb Hendricks. And now it's time for them to go head-to-head -head. in the best of seven. Find out who's going to be the champion. 
Wyatt Bray and Josh Patton are going to rope first. Cash Duty and Sid Spore are going to rope second in this best of seven. Find out who's going to get the pot of gold at the end of the rainbow. All right. Hang on to your hat, Big Tex. It's going to be good stuff. Here we go. Wyatt Bray and Josh Patton going to start it off for us right here in the best of seven. See if they can do it over Cash Duty and Sid Spore. It's going to be good no matter what. Here we go. Wyatt Bray, Josh Pat. Wyatt Bray from right here, Stephenville. Josh Pat hails from Odessa. Now he lives right over there outside of Lubbock, Texas. Look at this. Does some healing now. Smooth here with a 665. JP, nice shot right there. As we'll get a look at this back on the replay. Point oh eight six. Wyatt Bray gets out of the barrier. And this steer kind of takes him down there a little bit. He reaches for him, got him caught around the horns. And then watch Josh Patton right here. This little horse cow's in there, and he puts some rope down there. And I mean, he's got him coming tight. 665. All right. Cash Duty and Sid Spore now. These guys get ready to back in and rock and roll. 664 is their mark. All right. We got the gunslinger on the head side, Cash Duty. Oh, he gets out .072, and he slings it at him. He's got him. Look at this. Sid Spore heals him 560. Wow. Wow. They are going to get the early lead right here in round number one. As we'll get this look, watch this cash duty. Man, he gets out, gets him caught half head. Sid Spore, this guy is a machine now. He rides right to his spot, puts his rope down. He's got him healed by two feet, and it's over just like that. Two and he slings it at him. Got him. Look at this. It's four. He was in 560. Wow. Okay, Cash, coming off a win on your last match, this first year that you drew kind of left the shoot with that left horn down. What do you do with that? Did you have to take an extra swing? Um, well, I didn't score very good. When you don't score very good, you just kind of try to throw it over the horns and hope you can get something caught. Sid did a good job healing him. Sid does do a very good job healing. What's your plan on this next year? Um, try to score better and not have to throw so far. <laughs> okay, there you go. Good luck. Thank you. Here's round number two. That's Cash Duty and Sid Spore versus Wyatt Bray and Josh Patton. It started off hot, baby. Cash Duty and Sid Spore with a 560 in round one to get that win over Wyatt Bray and Josh Patton, who were a 665. In round two, we're going to see what happens right here. Two of the tallest headers out there coming head to head. Here we go. Cash Duty with a late start, point one five two, but his head rope makes up the difference. Sid Spore on the backside has been picture perfect. Heals him down. Six and 55. Six and 55. It's going to be their time for round number two. All right, Wyatt Bray and Josh Patton. These guys got to be a 654. So Cash Duty reaches out and heads that sucker. And then Sid Spore, this guy has been point on right there. I mean spot on. Heals him down. All right, Wyatt Bray and Josh Patton. Wyatt Bray backs in. Get the nod. We're rolling. Look at here. Look at here. He's got him caught. Now, Josh Patton. You got to heal him fast, and he does. It's going to be smooth. 583. 583. It's just like a game of tennis. Back and forth. Back and forth. Here we go. Who's going to be left standing to the last of it? We'll find out. It's split up. One to one. After two. White Bray does a nice job heading him, and then Josh Patton. He speeds up the game right there and heals him down. 583. Josh Patton, you got to heal him fast, and he does. It's going to be smooth, 580. 
Here's round number three. It's Wyatt Bray and Josh Patton right here. That's one to one. All right, Wyatt Bray, Josh Patton, Cash Duty, Sid Spore. Here we go, Wyatt Bray, a little bit late, point one five eight. He gets him caught. Josh Patton comes around, heels. It's going to be smooth, 7.03, 7.03. All right. Well, Cash Duty and Sid Spore. So Wyatt Bray was just a little bit late right there. But as he gets his head, loop, head loop out, he comes right around the horns. And then Josh Patton comes around right here and heals this steer. They're going to be a clean run right here. Nice job, man. All right. Cash Duty and Sid Spore. Cash right there. Point oh one seven pings the barrier. Got him caught. Sid Spore has trouble getting his dally. But he does in 699. <laughs> Woo! That's just how this match goes. A 699 to a 703, but still Cash Duty and Sid Spore on top. So they are two to one over White and Josh going into round number four. Man, what a match we got going on right here. Just right. Round number four of quite possibly one of the most exciting matches we've seen today. Cash Duty and Sid Spore are going to rope first. Wyatt Bray and Josh Patton roping second. It's been a battle back and forth, back and forth. And right here, we're going to see what happens. Cash Duty and Sid Spore get to rope first. All right, gentlemen, we get the nod. They're rolling. Cash Duty gets out. Fires it at him, doesn't fit. Oh, man. Oh, man. Not what we wanted to see right there for Cash Duty. And as you get this right here, he lobs it out there. It goes around the right horn, but does not come across the horns. In fact, it doesn't even split the horns. It kind of went by, and it's going to be no time. All right, it's going to be Wyatt Bray and Josh Patton. This team right here, a catch situation. Knock him down, boys. Knock him down. Little old steer comes out, kind of veers to the left, and Josh comes in, heals him right here on the back side. They are smooth, but a barrier. They're going to be 18 and 33, but that's all right, gentlemen. You guys are going to get it, and it's two to two, two to two after four. You can see this little steer kind of veers to the left. White gets way up over him, gets him caught kind of deep around the eyes, and Josh comes in, steer's hopping off nice, times him up. Sees the fence coming and says, I better release it and catch him, and he does. And so it's tied up at two to two right here. Here comes White Bray and Josh Patton, round number five. White with his part, JP to the backside. They're going to heal him right here with a smooth run of 642. 642 right here. It's tied right here, two to two. White Bray gets out, .072, gets it on the horns, and Josh Patton, look at this guy right here, sets him up, heals him down. Just right, man, 642. Cash Duty and Sid's four, 641 or better. It's tied up, two to two. All right, guys, let's see what you bring to the table. Duty out, broke the barrier. Broke the barrier. Oh, no, Sid's four heals him. They're smooth. 499, but a barrier. They're going to be 14 and 99. Oh, no, no, no. So, White Bray and Josh Patton, three to two. Cash gets it on this steer nicely. Again, Sid's four has been just dialed in all day. Heals this one right here, 499, but the barrier 14 and 99. So going into round six, Wyatt and Josh have the advantage. Three to two going into round six. Round number six, Cash Duty and Sid Spore to kick it off. 
It's three to two with Wyatt Bray and Josh Patton in the lead. Now, if Wyatt and Josh win this one, the match is over. Cash Duty and Sid Spohr looking to stand completely in their way. They want to take it to round seven. All right, Cash Duty out, .043, got him caught. Sid Spohr comes around and heals that dude in a hurry, smooth, 535. 535. So they have certainly set themselves up. Cash Duty reaches out there. He's got it right around the horns. Sid Spohr says, look at this. I see him. I got him. And two feet, it's all over. 535. Cash Duty, fires out there, got the match. Sid Spohr, oh yeah. Oh yeah. Smooth runner. 569. Wyatt Bray, Josh Patton, 534 or better to get the round win. And the win of the match. It all hinges on this one. Let's see what happens. 534 or better. Late of the line. Point two one five. Fires it out there. Doesn't fit. No time. And it does go into a 3-3 three, three split here. Going into round seven. It comes down to a one-header. Who's going to be the champion? And it looks like in that last go-round... With Cash Duty and Sid Spohr turning in a time of 5.35, they'll rope second. So that means Wyatt, Bray, and Josh Patton will rope first in round number seven. It is the final round. Who's going to be the champion? Wyatt, Bray, and Josh Patton or Cash Duty and Sid Spohr? So Wyatt and Josh are going to rope first. Wyatt out. Oh, caught him. Backside, they healed him, but I see some bad news. Figure eights the nose right there. Wyatt Bray, ouch. We'll get another look at this. He gets out perfectly, .061. Puts that rope out there, and it just comes around, and it was just like instantly figure eighted around the nose. Josh Patton puts a loop down there, misses a slack, goes straight to the horn, and... Uh, it's not going to work for them. No time. All right. Cash Duty and Sid Spore. Gentlemen, for the win, all you got to do is catch him. All you got to do is catch him. They put it on the horns. Now to the backside. Oh! Oh! Who'd have thunk it? It'll push us into a round eight. And the door opens. And the door opens. As we go into the round eight. Cash Duty ran right to him. Sid Spore, who's been picture perfect, has trouble right there and sets it beside him. So in round eight, Cash Duty and Sid Spore will rope first. White Bray and Josh Patton will rope second. All right, here is... Cash Duty and Sid Spore, and they have trouble right here. They forced it into a round eight to see what happens, and Cash Duty gets out perfectly. That steer is right there waiting on him, and he missed him. So the door is open for White Bray and Josh Patton. White Bray and Josh Patton have got to just catch the steer. Catch him. They break the barrier. That's okay. They got it around the horns. Now JP heals him up. Yes, he does. Smooth here, but an 18-10. And the win right here is going to go to Wyatt Bray and Josh Patton as they will take the top honors. You can see Wyatt just comes with that steer, gets out, gets him roped right here, clean around the horns. And then Josh Patton takes just a bit of extra time to set this one up, times him up, gets him healed right here by two feet, and it's over like that. So Wyatt Bray and Josh Patton are going to win the undercard match right here. They're going to be the champions over Cash Duty and Sid Spoor. Okay, Wyatt and Josh, what a day we've had. What a day. Been a long one. It has been a long day. Talk us through this last match. Man, you know, it's just up and down. It's a drawing contest. I mean, we made a few mistakes. Uh, 
stayed momentum all day. Wyatt done a good job. Uh, we try not to mess up very often, and when they messed up, we knew we just got to go catch him. We went into an extra round. How did you get your composure back for that? Well, all we had to do is catch in the last round, so it was sure nice that they <laughs> let us have that opportunity. But uh, it was a tough match, back and forth all day long. Uh, Sid and Cash did a great job all day. It was Whoever went second seemed to take the lead every time, so it was a really good match. And that was an advantage you had going into that extra round was you got to be second. Did that change your game plan at all? Uh, yes. Whenever I got to see how that they did, it just uh, made it made my job easy. So all I had to do was run up there and do my job. It's not very often you can break a barrier and win a open. It's my favorite thing to do. <laughs> all right. Congratulations, guys. All right, Travis Graves. You are one of the only guys that has healed competitively behind Tyler Wade and Dustin Agostiza, who both have a very aggressive style. How do you set yourself up for a heel run that goes fast every single time? Uh, you just try to have a pretty fast horse. You know, that, that's a big advantage. So you can be there when the corner comes. And uh, you got to try to get your swing up fast and be ready for when they turn. Yep, absolutely. Um, do you still have chickens? Oh, yeah. Well, my family, we have about 20 chickens. Yeah, we're in the chicken business for sure. So do you think if you win this match today, you can stop selling eggs on the side of the road? Or? I doubt it. We'll probably keep doing it. <laughs> All right. Awesome. Good luck today. Thank you. <laughs> it's Monday night match X Factor open and time for the main match right here. Tyler Wade and Travis Graves are teamed up to match Brenton Hall and Peyton Bray. Round number one, it is a best of 15. You betcha, best of 15. So the first one to win seven. Tyler Wade and Travis Graves. All right, T. Wade, TG. Here we go. Round number one. Tyler Wade rolling. Right here. Got him. Right around the neck. Travis Graves, this guy. Picture perfect for the 601. 601. We'll get another look at this right here as T Wade gets out of the barrier point. One, two, zero. Reaches out there. Got him around the neck, kind of like he likes it. And Travis Graves says, hey, I can handle this. Two feet all day, and it is a smooth run. We'll go to Brenton Hall and Peyton Bray. Brenton Hall right here on the head side, Peyton Bray. These boys rope good and they rope good together. New team for 2023 and they are letting it all hang out right here. They gotta be a six flat or better here in round one. Six flat or better. All right, Brenton Hall, Peyton Bray. Brenton on the head side, originally from Oklahoma, now makes his home right here in Erath County. 0 0.049, got him right around the horns, and Peyton Bray heals him down. Smooth here with a 548, and that was a picture-perfect run right there. Man, 0 0.049 off the barrier. You can see Brenton right here reads that barrier perfectly. The steer weights on him right there. He's got him right around the horns tight, and then Peyton Bray gets him easily healed right here. Smooth run, 548, and they're going to take the win of round number one. So Brenton Hall and Peyton Bray off to a good start right here in the main match. All right, here's round number two of the main match. It's Brenton Hall and Peyton Bray, Tyler Wade, Travis Graves. Brenton Hall and Peyton will rope first in round two here. They were a 548 to best a 601 in round one. All right, so Brenton Hall, Peyton Bray. Getting ready to go right here. And it's the main card match in a Monday night match. Brenton Hall. Oh, yes. Got him caught. Peyton Bray right here on the backside has too many feet in the loop. Ropes his horse's front leg, and so it is going to be a no time. Brenton Hall 
He does a great job right here, getting it right around the horns, and I mean it comes tight in a hurry. And Payton comes around. He's got everything going just right, but his horse just a little bit close. Sticks a front foot in that, and so it's going to cost him. It's all right. It's only round two, and it's best of 15. And here comes Tyler Wade and Travis Graves. Now, these guys just need to knock this steer down, and they're going to do just that. They got the barrier, got him caught clean. They're going to be a 17 and 78. And so round number two is going to go to Tyler Wade and Travis Graves. And so it's going to be one to one here in the main match going into that round three. Tyler Wade, Travis Graves. Tyler backs in right here. They're rolling. T. Wade. No, 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 no. It doesn't fit, and it's going to be a no time. So Brenton Hall and Peyton Bray now with a free roll in round three. T. Wade got out just a little bit late, .215 off of that barrier. He tried to reach with that rope and make up some time, and it didn't fit. Cost them severely. As Brenton Hall and Peyton Bray, all they need to do is catch this steer for round three. And they are going to get out on him. Got him caught. Peyton comes into the backside. Separation heals him down. And they're going to be smooth, but a bear 18 and 50. 18 and 50. All right. So you can see Brenton right here. Goes ahead and comes with that steer and gets right to him. Puts it on the horns. Now, Payton comes around. Roped his horse's front leg on the last one, but not this time. Lots of separation right there. Gets him heeled down. And they will get the win. Putting them two to one over Tyler Wade and Travis Graves going into round four. Round four of the main match right here. It's Brenton Hall and Peyton Bray to rope first. They are two to one over T. Wade and Travis Graves. A win in round one or win in round three. It's a best of 15. All right, Brenton backs in with a nod. Here we go. Yep, he's got him. Peyton Bray heals him right here on the back side. They're going to be smooth. 682. 682. All right, Tyler Wade and Travis Graves. Brenton Hall gets out on this steer. Gets him caught. Peyton Bray comes around on the back side. Look at here. Lots of rope down there, lots of bottom strand on the ground, and that steer had no chance of getting away. All right, here we go. Tyler Wade, Travis Graves. This guy's got to be a 681 or better. It's not a problem for him. T. Wade out. 186 off the barrier. Horns are caught. TG says, ha ha, I got you. But I got you by one. They're going to be at 11 and 88. 11 and 88. And so, Brenton Hall and Peyton Bray, after round four, three to one, you can see right here, Tyler Wade got him caught. TG comes around, and he just was a little bit high on that outside. Didn't get enough bottom down. Ropes inside leg. Main card match. Here's Tyler Wade, Travis Graves for round number five. Tyler Wade got him. TG to the back. Yes, they are clean. 548. 
Five and 48 right here. So let's see what they do. Tyler Wade out on this steer, .076, gets him caught around the horns. TG comes around, and look at that. He's got him wearing it in a hurry. They're 548. So, round number five is Britton Hall and Peyton Bray. If they want to win round number five, they got to be a 547 or better. It's not a problem for them. They've been 548. That's the time that Tyler Wade and Travis Graves were. So, reach for him, got him. Peyton Bray comes around on the backside. Yeah, yeah. How about a 489? Now, let's take a look because we've been roping all day, and this run right here, Brenton Hall gets out, stands up, reaches for that steer, and he's got him caught. And then Peyton Bray right here, he sets him down. Look at that. Nice job by those guys. And the 489 is going to put it four to one. Brenton Hall and Peyton Bray right here going into that round number six. Man, what a deal. Yeah. Round six, Brenton and Peyton will rope first. So we'll see what happens right here. The first one to win seven is the champion, and they've got four of them notched in their belts already. Brenton Hall has roped well right here. He gets out on this one, .056, reaches for him. Oh, and lost his rope. Oh, man. Oh, man. Not what we wanted to see right there. Brenton Hall and Peyton Bray with a little bit of trouble as we'll try to see exactly what happens. Brenton gets out on him, reaches for him, and he puts it right around the horns, and he just didn't get that clean dally right there. And it runs right out of his hand. It's a no time. Free roll now for Tyler Wade and Travis Gray. But boys, you still got to knock him down. They're just a bit down. Four to one. Barrier doesn't matter at this point. A matters is a stopped clock. And they got it stopped. Barrier penalty, 1758. And so they are now going to get the win it's four to two going into round seven four to two going in to round seven Round number seven, Tyler Wade and Travis Graves to go first. They are down. Brenton Hall and Peyton Bray have won four. Tyler Wade and Travis Graves have won two. All right, Tyler Wade out, .041. Got him caught, TG. He's got his part done, and they come tight. 553, <laughs> nice work. 553. As we will take a look at this, and again, it is picture perfect right here for Tyler Wade on the get out, .041. Steer kind of steps over there a little bit to the right, and he's got him no problem. TG comes around and heals him by two feet, and it all stops, 553. Brenton Hall right here on the head side. Peyton Bray to the back. You got the nod. Look here. Brenton Hall reads the barrier perfect. .076. He's got him. Peyton Bray. Oh, man. Oh, man. They're going to be a 508, but a plus 5 on the backside. 1008. But let's watch this one more time. Brenton Hall reaches out here, and that steer waits on him. He's got him headed tight. Peyton Bray, just a little bit out of sync, reaches way over his horse's head, and all he could come up is 
with his one hind leg, and wow, wow, wow is all I can say. Man. So, Tyler Wade and Travis Graves are climbing back out of this mess. It's four to three going into round eight. We're going into the eighth round here, the main match. And it's four to three with Brenton Hall and Peyton Bray on top of Tyler Wade and Travis Graves. But round eight starts with Brenton Hall and Peyton Bray. All right, guys. Well, let's see what you can bring to the table. Brenton Hall, Peyton Bray. Right here, they're rolling. Brenton Hall gets out. Gets him caught. Yes, he does. Now the backside, Peyton Bray. Hey, 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 hey. Smooth at 613. 613. That's all well and good until you have Tyler Wade and Travis Graves roping second, and all they got to be is a 613. Not a problem. It's four to three right now. Tyler Wade and Travis Graves. As these guys get ready. Four to three. T. Wade gets out. He's got him caught. T. G. now to the backside. Oh, ho, ho. a little out of whack, but he got him healed. Five and 66. Oh, man. Oh, man. Well, as we go through eight steers, it's tied up. Four to four. T. Wade gets out on this dude, heads him, and then Travis Graves, man, he was all out of whack, but that's all right. He got him roped by two feet, and they did it faster in five and 66, and so it's four to four for the main match. Brenton, you started with a Triton, you've switched to an XR4. What is the reason for that? Uh, these steers are a little bit older and some of them have some bigger horns and I just want to make sure I have something that covers it. In case I'm not to do my job perfectly, I've kind of just moved back and forth. If I had one with a little smaller horns, I have a little bit softer Triton and I just feel like it tightens down faster. And then that XR4 is just such a big rope and if I feel like if I got a steer with bigger horns and that it's going to stay open more for me. So, and we also had a horse switch in between here. What, what was the reason for that? Uh, this is my good horse, and I just don't want to wear him out when I don't have to. And I, we were up a little bit in the match, and I got on a horse. I like that horse that I rode the other one, too. It just wasn't clicking quite the same way it was with him. And so I rode a couple, won one on him, missed a couple on him, or didn't do my job on him, sorry, and then got back on this one after he had a breather. It's a marathon, not a race. It's a freaking marathon today. <laughs> well, there you go. Good luck on the rest of them. Thanks, Trish. Round number nine of the main match is going to watch Tyler Wade and Travis Graves rope first. And it's tied up four to four. Four to four. Tyler Wade right here gets out .180 and he has trouble. Trouble. It's going to be no time. All right, Tyler Wade. Just a little bit off the barrier, reaches out there, and it went on a half head for just a split second, and then it bounced right off. It's no time. Brenton Hall, Hayden Bray. The nod, they're rolling. Get to him, got him caught. Hayden comes around to the backside. He does the same. Got him caught, smooth here, but a barrier. 1795. 1795. Nonetheless, it's going to be five to four after round nine. Brenton Hall goes ahead and runs through the barrier, comes across there, runs his horse right to the spot, gets the steer caught. Peyton Bray, same situation right here. He comes around, one, two, three, and he's got him right there. Holds a slack up, pulls back, and they get the win of round number nine. So five to four, the main card match. Okay, Peyton, matching is a very fluid situation. How does your game cha game plan change when the team that goes first goes out? Um, just, you go, I just try to relax, and you cover your bases, you're on your fundamentals. You know, this is why you rope steers at the house. This is why 
you don't make mistakes and you be perfect at the house because when they give you a chance like that, you can't throw it away. It's like a free throw in basketball, you know. They give you a free roll, you got to take advantage of it. And to me, that's all mat this matching is. Whoever makes the least mistakes is the one that wins. Yes, and did we have a horse switch in here today? Yes, ma'am, yeah. When Brenton got on his black, I got on my little rodeo horse, John Wick. Uh, he don't have papers, but he's pretty good. He's pretty fast, and it fits the setup up good. Well, that's perfect. Good luck on the next one. Thank you. Round 10. The main match right here is going to watch Brenton Hall and Peyton Bray lead us off. Five to four advantage over Tyler Wade and Travis Graves. Round 10, here we go. All right. A little bit of a horse change right here on the back side. So, Payton and Brenton. Brenton's got him caught. Payton comes around, heals him, but a plus five. They're going to be 10 41. 1041. Let's see what happened right there. Got out point zero zero one, so perfect on the barrier. Brenton Hall snaps it on these horns. Payton comes around. He's just a little bit inside. When he sets his rope down, all he gets is the outside leg. And so with a plus five, they're 1041. So here comes Tyler Wade and Travis Graves. These guys gotta be 1040 or better. All right. A late start, point two three five. He's got him headed. Now, Travis Graves. Oh, no. Had him and he got away. Plus five here. They're going to be 13 10. That was unexpected. You can see right here as Tyler Wade lets him way out there. Rolls down here. Got his part right around the horns. And then Travis Graves gets this steer right here. And he has a lot of rope down there, but only ends up with one outside leg, 13 and 10. And so six to four going into round 11, Tyler Wade and Travis Graves are on the ropes. Round 11 is Tyler Wade and Travis Graves to rope first. It's six to four and it's the first one to win eight is the champion. So it's not over yet. All right. Tyler Wade, Travis Graves. As they get set to go right here, Tyler Wade with a the nod. They're out, point zero two zero. He's got him caught. Oh, man. They are going to be smooth right here. 565. 565. And as we'll get another look, I want you to watch this. Tyler Wade reaches out there. He ropes this steer, but then... He's got him so far out there, he misses his dally just a little bit. He slides it all the way to the knot and holds it until they get the flag right there, and then, bam, pops out of his hand. They're smooth, 565. Great run. Could possibly put them back in good position. Brenton Hall, Peyton Bray. Gentlemen of 564 right here. Would add another notch to your belt. Put you one step closer to be the champions. All right, we're out. We got him caught. Peyton Bray comes around, heals him fast. Yes, they're going to be smooth here with a 542. Oh, man. Man, what a run right here. As we look at it, Brenton Hall just gets out on this one right here, reaches out there, puts it around the red steer's horns, and then Peyton Bray shuts the run down so fast. It's over, 542, and so seven to four. All they need is one more win. All right, the main card match in round number 12. It is Brenton Hall and Peyton Bray, seven to four. One more win by this team, and they will be victorious. But they rope first in round 12. See what happens for them. Seven to four. Brenton Hall has roped well right here. Peyton Bray has also roped well. 
All right, we're rolling. Brenton got him caught. Payton right here to the back. Oh, no. Oh, no. They were going to go ahead and try to drive that old nail in there, and it does not fit. Brenton right here gets out, point zero three four, has him wearing it, and Payton tries him on, and, man, does not get anything. Nothing. No time. Free roll right here for T. Wade and Travis Graves. All right. Tyler, Wade, Travis Graves, let's go for it. Gentlemen, we got the knock. Point oh six one on the barrier. Run him down, got him caught. TG, wild old buck and hop and steer, and he heals him, no problem. 984. 984. It's going to give them the win. Puts it 7 to 5. Going into round 13. TG rides right on up to this steer. Gets him deep around the neck. No chance for a wave off there. TG, man, has to time that old steer up, and he does. Gets him healed. Smooth run. 984, 7 to 5. Well, round 13 of the main match. Here's Tyler Wade and Travis Graves. These guys have won five of the 12 matches. Brenton Hall and Peyton Bray have won seven. Going into round 13 right here. T. Wade and Travis will rope first. All right, so here we go. T. Wade and Travis. T. Wade gets out, point zero one zero. Gets him caught, Travis Graves. Yeah, yeah, smooth here, 560. 560. All right, it's Brenton Hall and Peyton Bray now. If these guys are 559, they'll go to the lead. Travis Graves heals that dude fast right there in the replay. Nice job. Brenton Hall and Peyton Bray get him caught in a 559. They're the champs. Anything longer than that, it goes to round 14. Brenton Hall with a nod. Brenton Hall gets out. Point zero six eight. Got him. Got him deep. Peyton Bray heals him right here. And the clock tells it. Five. Are you kidding me? Five. 59. 559, and the match is over. That really is amazing. Congratulations to Brenton Hall and Peyton Bray. They are 5 and 59. That's exactly what they had to be to win that roping right there. They had to be the 559, and they are. 559. And so the main match win is going to go to Brenton Hall and Peyton Bray with eight victories and five to Tyler Wade and Travis Graves. So what a deal right there. Congratulations to our champs, Brenton Hall and Peyton Bray. Monday night match, X Factor Roping. <laughs> Got him deep. Peyton Bray heels it right here, and the clock tells it. So, thank you for watching X Factor Roping on a Monday night. We hope that you've enjoyed this presentation of Monday Night Match from X Factor Roping. Brenton Hall, Peyton Bray. You guys came from an undercard match that you'd previously won to the main event, and you won. Walk us through everything that happened today. Uh, my partner put on a clinic today. Uh, he, he did a great job, and, you know, when you get a match like this, it's kind of, I'm not saying it's just a header's game, but healers definitely help if they can add to the run and make up time. But Brenton, he put on a clinic today. I had a little bit of heck on a couple, but... You know, he kept us in the match, kept spinning steers in that five hole. And, you know, them guys are up great. They were five, six a lot, and we had to come back and beat them. And Britain did a good enough job where we could do that. So, 
you know, it was done right, and it was fun, close match. Yeah, Brenton, you scored well all day. You headed steers well all day. And some of these steers have bigger horns, littler horns. Some start a lot stronger than the others. How did you keep it together the whole time? I just tried to take every steer. You know, I told myself that today that it, it's not so much that we're actually matching somebody. Like a boxing match and stuff, everybody is actually competing against the person that's ro or that is fighting against them. And here it's just competing against the steer you got. And I, I tried to just be very disciplined about sitting there and not doing too much, but seeing the right start and being sure to get flat goes and just give him a chance. And, Luckily, it worked out. God watched over us today and got some money in our pocket. That's awesome. Yeah, what are you going to do with your winnings? I don't know. Hard eight sounds great right now. <laughs> I am hungry. What are you going to do with your winning? Oh. Anytime, anywhere. I want these guys. <laughs> <laughs> they don't want none. They put us in the undercard. They made us work for it, but we're coming up next. <laughs> uh, we did get a brother brawl today. Awesome. Uh, I'll, I'll match you, maybe, with a rope, but other than that, we ain't, we ain't fighting. <laughs> All right, congratulations, guys. Thank you.